Okay, welcome to lesson four, free fall. All right, so this is just building on the kinematic equations we had before. It's just a little add on there. We still have the same five variables running around, right? We have four variables in each equation, so that means we only need to find three of them. All right, and often we're finding the little secret variables. Well, free fall has several new secret variables for us. The most importantly is that when you're up in the air, acceleration is going to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so that is going to be a secret one that's just implied. Anytime we're flying around the air, is going to be presumably down is minus and up is plus, right? Then our acceleration will be negative 9.8. Somehow flying through the air, that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so you can now test this out on your own. Get it, get get. Uh, don't get a bowling ball and a golf ball. Okay, get something heavy. Get something kind of light. I mean, like a big and a small thing mostly, right? And then drop them. Not on your foot. Don't drop your computer. All right. They should, in theory, hit around the same con time, right? As long as they're not like Q-tips or something like that. All right. So now try a book and a piece of paper. All right pretty much hopeful the book's going to hit the ground first, right? Make sure the paper's all flat, things like that. All right, so so if, if you have a flat piece of paper, it's going to fall slower than the book, but if you have two things that are kind of dense, about the same rate. So if you take the paper here, and then you wad it up in a little ball, and then drop it, it will drop about as fast as the book. So what's going on? What's going on? Okay, there are two things that we have to keep track of here when we're doing free fall now and for the rest of the class. All right, the first and most important thing we're going to talk about in physics class is there is no air resistance. We are going to ignore air resistance, okay? The fact that if you push against the air, it kind of pushes back. So we are going to take all air resistance and kill it out. No air resistance. We're going to pretend there's no air in physics class. Draw a little circle, put the line through it, okay? No air in physics class. Totally going to ignore that. The reason for that is the math gets really weird. There's like a V squared thing in there. And there's all kinds of craziness. So we don't treat air in our class, all right? We're going to pretend it's not there, all right? And as a result, everything, even if it's a Q-tip or a cotton ball or a feather or anything, everything's going to fall at the same acceleration, which is negative 9.8. Right. In this case, if there's no air, a cotton ball and a bowling ball will fall at the same rate. And that's the universe we're living in in physics class, where cotton balls and bowling balls fall at the same acceleration. All right, so what does it mean to go through free fall? What does it mean uh, and to have a negative 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration? What does it mean? Well, okay, you start off, if I drop something, it's going to fall a little bit, right? It's going to speed up, and then it's going to accelerate. So it's going to start. So it's going to fall a little bit more next time, right? Okay, it's going to fall a little bit more next time, and then it's going to accelerate. So it's going faster. So it's going to fall even more than before. It's accelerate. It's going to fall even more before. So any given second, right, will have fallen farther. Would have gone moved further than the previous second, right? That's because the velocity is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? That's what acceleration means, right? Uh, is when your velocity changes. And so as your velocity gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that is acceleration. All right? And in our case, it's getting more and more negative. All right? So that is, so if we want to write down every second, right, something will fall faster than the previous second. What that means is every second, right, the object is going to travel further than it traveled in the previous second. Okay, it doesn't go one, one, one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter, one meter. It goes one meter, two meters four meters, whatever, and it falls faster and faster and faster. All right, so that's what our free fall is all about. Again, no air resistance. So that's part of our deal. Okay, so what does that look like now? All right, so if I were to take something and then drop it, what does that look like? Okay, so we're going to start off high, and we're not going to we're not going to travel very fast, so it's going to be kind of flat, right, going slow, and then it's going to get faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, all right, till we hit the ground. All right, now if I'm going to graph that, I'm starting off not very fast, right? And then I'm going to get a bigger and bigger slope, but that slope is downwards, right? So I'm going to get negative, 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 okay? So this here graph is of that um, displacement graph, okay? I could do a different displacement graph. If I took instead, I took a ball and I threw it up into the air and it came back down again, that would have me starting off at a positive velocity down here. And getting slower and slower and slower and slower and slower until I get a zero velocity. It would be zero at the peak. And it speeds up, speeds up, speeds up, and going more negative. Okay? And so 
uh, example of a motion graph. So here, going up, this is going up and coming back down. Here, I'm just dropping it, just dropping it straight down. All right, let me get back to one more thing, some of our secret all right, equations. All right, so we said acceleration is what our secret one. Another one is when we go up in the air and get to the peak and come back down at the peak there. All right, one of the secrets there is that at the peak, your velocity is zero. All right, at the peak. And so that means if you drop something, it starts at velocity zero. But if you throw something up into the air, when it hits the peak, the velocity is zero. So if I ask how high, right, something goes, you know that the final velocity is zero because that's how that's how fast it is when it's at the top. So how high now tells you final velocity is zero. Free fall tells you it's negative 9.8, right? We still have all the other secret ones coming from stop or at rest, things like that. 